hello my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here i can barely even stand if this is your first time here hit the subscribe button down below it's absolutely free and it helps my channel grow i am so excited to be doing this video because <clears throat> it is long overdue i have had this video on my to-do list for the longest time i don't even know how i got the idea to do this video maybe it's because of my previous um I tried on all the clothes I made in 2020 video. You guys really loved it. The, the comments were amazing. You guys really interacted with that video. And so maybe that's why I decided to do this particular video. By the way, if you haven't watched that, I tried on all the clothes I made in 2020 video. Click the link right here or right here. So today I'm going to show you guys all the bridesmaids and ashwabi dresses I have ever made. Not all of them, but most of them, because I've given some of them out. And these are the ones that I'm left with. Now, this video kind of reminds me of the um, movie Always a Bridesmaid. I don't know if you guys have watched that movie, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking like, God, I have been sewing bridesmaids dresses. I have been sewing ashwabi dresses. I have attended tons of weddings. God, when? God, when we lie now? make bridesmaids dresses for my own bridesmaids when we like buy ashwabi fabric and sell it times 10 the amount the god of the bullets would definitely come to my rescue oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so guys this is the first outfit i'm going to be showing you guys today i decided to make it the first because i already have a tutorial on how i made this dress the mono strap straight dad bustia tutorial so yeah this is what this looks like i really like this this is a bridesmaid dress and i was a bridesmaid for my friend's wedding and this is what this looks like it has a mono strap and i just decided to add this band as well that goes all the way to the back and it has this cute pleated detail right here pleats on the mono strap and it also has a, a zipper here and this aim of this zipper I'm going to tell you a story the aim of this zipper was to make sure that um, when we're in church we're nice and decent so the zipper goes down in church and then when we get to the reception we go indecent we get indecent in, in the reception here yeah. So we'll go show more size and skin that's the aim of the zipper it was requested for by the bride so i had to give her what she wanted and yeah that's what this dress looks like it's really cute really nice very flattering so yeah that's what this one is first one so next up is this gorgeous ashwabi dress that i made i really like this style it is this lace is the simply the ashwabi um, lace that we had to get from the bride and you know make a dress with but i paired it with this lovely velvet fabric i really really love how this turned out i love the sleeves the sleeves are guarded sleeves just basic guarded sleeves and you know the waist is nice and cinched and i love this um gathered detail right here on the waist and hip area and then I love the fact that the lace actually drops like that. So that's very cute. I really like how this turned out. This is what the back looks like. I went to have to use a studded zipper for the zipper. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is what it looks like. Really cute. And then I love this detail right here. So actually, there's no um, bustier on this one. The velvet fabric is really stretchy. I didn't need to use to do like a bustier with it. I simply just used the velvet and I made it very tight and very fitted. So it kind of just, you know, follow the contours of my body. So this is another one. It is made out of the scuba fabric. Guys, this YouTube thing is not even easy. I am sweating because I can't turn on the fan. If I turn on the fan, there's gonna be that sound, that background sound in the video and I can't do that. So I have to die of heat for love. This, it's kind of a bit loose here and I made this over 
like three years ago and the hip part feels tight but this part feels loose so like the waist part feels loose does it mean that my waist is shrinking guys consult me if you want to lose that tummy fat that that waist fat because this is evidence it has this kind of like a v detail up here and it has bands as well like off shoulder bands i really like the style the style the bride wanted and i made this i was part of the bridal chain so i made the same style for all the bridesmaids so if i was gonna wear this now i'm gonna pair this with the belt but yeah i feel like the waist has to be more snatched and i don't know if you notice but there's no half length in this dress it was simply a straight dress cut from here all the way to there so there was no half length there was no joining unlike the first one that there was a half length and there was a, like a bustier up here this doesn't have a bustier as well it's just the poly fabric and it stretches so it was easier to make the dress really tight and then it just goes along with the contour of the body but, but yeah this is what this one looks like i still like the style because you know i love the fabric i love the color green is my favorite color but not the shade of green definitely not the shade of green <laughs> guys on this day i was spraying money i was like this Hey, hey. Woo. I was there for the rich anti vibes. I was like, 10 naira, 50 naira, 50 naira. Oh, money, that money. Hey. Now, this is a four pieces skirt. So there's two in front, like that, and there's two at the back as well. And I didn't want to make it a six pieces skirt because I just didn't want to make it a six pieces skirt. I just wanted it to be like this. I wanted it to be um, a four-piece skirt. If you want a tutorial on how to make a four-piece skirt or a four-piece dress like this, let me know in the comment section down below. A couple of you have already requested for a six-piece skirt. I have been too lazy to do that video, but I'll definitely get right to it. But let me know if you want a four-piece skirt. I am breathing like I ran a marathon. Meanwhile, it's just small dance, so you guys just saw the small dance I just danced. Say I'm not breathing, like I want to die. I, I don't get it. Now this dress is obviously there's a bustier here. I hope you guys can see it clearly. But there's a bustier here, and I really love the way this this fits really well. And then I made a puffy sleeve with organza fabric on both sleeves, and then I used the lace um, fabric. And I use it at the bottom part of the um, puff, puffy sleeve, and then I added this flare detail here just on one sleeve because I wanted that dramatic effect. So I added this um, flared, you know, whatever, whatever this is, <laughs> flared flare. Hello, this is another. Oof, guys, I'm dying of heat here. See what I'm doing for you people. I'm dying of heat here. Hey, you over? <laughs> Everything I do, I do it for you, including dying in the heat. This is what the next outfit looks like. For some reason, it is freaking tight. I don't know why. Are my hips increasing? My hips are increasing, guys. Like my hips are like, I'm getting more booty And Anyway, this is what this one looks like. Girl, why would this hair just stay in place? I'm trying to have like a classic moment here. So this is what this one looks like. It is made out of a poly fabric as well. And yeah, this is what the back looks like. Now, this is another Ashebi dress that I made. Let me know in the comment section if this happens to you as well. So, you make outfits, you're a tailor, a fashion designer. When it comes to your clients, you make the most complex outfits. You go out of your way, you make a corset, you make flare sleeves, illusion nets, appliques. The whole nine, like you go all out. But when it comes to your own, you make straight dress and you add offhand like when it comes to my clients eh, i can do all things through christ who strengthens me thank you jesus hallelujah but when it comes to my own clothes i just want to do fast 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 and get on with it and it's something i'm trying to stop is um princess that went all the way from here all the way down to the length of the entire fabric there was no half cut here 
it was just one straight um, princess down from the top to the bottom so if that's something you guys want to see a tutorial on let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to do a tutorial on that and then here i simply cut a flare i actually really like this part of this gown it's really cute i cut a flare and then at the bottom of the flare i added this ankara um fabric all the way around and i intentionally made sure that since the net was um purple i made sure that i took only the purple part of the ankara around the um net so it kind of blends in together and i did the same thing with the sleeves as well so i actually really do like this outfit it's really cute very flattering to my shape to my figure and it does make me look taller because of the flare and how it you know looks so it's a nice one guys this is another bridesmaid's dress ha ah, this was a struggle to get into because <laughs> my breast has increased jesus you are worthy to be praised but i actually like this outfit though. like look at this i really like this i love the fact that it's also um a straight dad bustier it's a straight dad bustier and it's also a mono strap as well so it's kind of like the first outfit i wore so still the tutorial that i have for the mono strap straight up bustier would go for this as well so if you want to see how i made this Click on the link in the description box down below. I simply made the center um, panel of the straight dab bustier long enough to get to the full length of the dress. I don't know if you guys can see that. So, while the side pieces stopped at the length of the gown here, which is above my knee, where the gathered part started. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's what I did. And this is what the back looks like. So for the back, the center part of the back also stops at the part where the guy that started from so the only piece that went all the way to the bottom was the center one here and i think i like that style i think i'm probably going to recreate it with a different fabric with a different style but i like the fact that this went all the way to the length of the dress so guys this is another um bridesmaid dress um as you can see it's just a beautiful white dress i love the back i love how open the back is and it has a gold zip that goes all the way to the bottom now this bride was very liberal with us with the bridesmaids she literally said make any style you want with a white dress but she said we shouldn't add any other fabric so no lace no velvet no nothing just the scuba fabric alone so that was all we used for this and i think i like the style i chose for mine i simply made like this really chunky like free top and then the bottom from the half length was tight and then I added some pleated details here just underneath the um, half length. And yeah, I love how the back is as well. It gives me a very, very, very cool, angelic vibe. Cause I'm an angel. I am in love with an angel. I am in love with an angel. So this is the next outfit. I wore this for an Ashway B. I I simply decided not to use so much of the lace. I did buy like three yards of lace for the should be like this is the lace i don't know if you guys can see it i, I decided to play around with the lace the scuba fabric and the net so that's why i didn't want to use too much of the lace i wanted to get something different so yeah this is what the back looks like now i wore this dress in the intro to one of my videos if you know that video comment down below the title of the video that i wore this dress for the intro let us find out who our loyal viewers are so i used a skin tone net for this i used the gold satin fabric underneath the green lace and then i used the scuba fabric below and then i took pieces of the green lace and i just stuck it on the scuba fabric so it just kind of blends in together it doesn't look like it's just lace and scuba you know that doesn't look very cute this is what the back looks like so the net basically drapes all the way to the back and that's what it looks like yeah and it's a straight cut pencil dress i didn't want i got really fed up with the whole mermaid dress mermaid dress mermaid dress thing i'm not a mommy water okay guys this is another one if you're not following me on instagram then you haven't seen this dress because you're late go ahead and follow me on instagram at 
D underscore Sile. That's my business account. For my personal account, for some personal deets, bibs and bobs about me. Some personal, you know, in total details. Follow me on Instagram at Silem underscore SZ. So please, follow me on Instagram. Go ahead, do it. So if you're already on Instagram, you probably have already seen this outfit. There used to be an applique here, but let's quick. Come on, the applique. I have no idea. In the middle of the wedding, guys, applique not fail. Like, who did I offend? I need to know. This applique, the same one here, was here. But guess what? Nothing works in Nigeria. Okay, some things work in Nigeria. But just not the applique. I think not agreed to stay. And I haven't been bothered enough to put it back. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. But point is, there was an acute applique here. Just imagine in your mind that the applique is right here. Imagine. Imagination is the spice of life. Nobody says that, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. I actually like it because my waist is really snatched and my hip came out like look at my hips guys and i love the fact that the slit is right in the center it's really cute because you know when i'm walking i'm serving legs both legs you know normally if you have one slit here by one side you're serving just one leg but in this case i'm serving both legs like both legs are being served for dinner all right or for breakfast or lunch whatever the wedding is that's where I'm serving the legs. Okay? Alright. So yeah, and I love this. Um, I don't know what this thing is called. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Up close. See? But I love the gold detail that it gives with this as well. And it's really, really cute. Okay, okay guys, we've come to the end of this video. I am trying to pass out. Heat can kill. So let me know that today. And I'm doing this because, you know, when people fix their nails, they're like, there are no nails here, but still, you understand? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have watched up to this point, you are absolutely, absolutely amazing. I love you so very much. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe to my channel. If you want to watch the previous video I made that I tried on all the outfits I made in 2020 then the link will be in the end screen and it will also be in the description box thank you for watching I'll see you in my next one bye let me know in the comment section if you've tried to use your phone camera to do your eyeliner it's like mission impossible oh my god just get a mirror like normal people would use a mirror right Okay. Hello. Hello, eyeliner. Hello. Okay, let's do a wing. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. not too much. Try again. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Right. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, baby. Let's try the other one. Okay. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wingy, wingy, wingy. All right, all right, that's a good start, good start. All right, let's curve it out, curve it out, okay. Messed it all up. I messed it all up. You think they're wise? But we move, we move, we move.